Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 21 of the InDesign tutorial series and today what we, what we are going to do is we are going to look at the links panel right here. So what I have already done here is I imported three images onto the main panel just like this and over here in the desktop I've actually uh, have, have the actual three images and the file uh, that mm, I'm editing in. So what I'm going to do now is let's just close this out, let's just close the file just like this and I'm going to save it. Yes. All right. And once I do that, I'm going to create a new folder on the main uh, folder where the images are. I'm going to name this images and then I'm going to drag in the images onto that folder right there. Now I'm going to uh, open this up and now you can see that it actually says this document contains three links to the sources that are missing. So what InDesign actually does is it creates links to the images that are being imported. So it does not actually uh, save the images inside uh, the InDesign uh, source file itself, unlike Photoshop where you can embed the images itself. So over here inside of properties, you can see that this is just 1.57 MB because it is just saving the layout data. And the images over here you can see is actually 10 MB. So this helps to ensure that you save uh, spaces. But what you have to also ensure that all of the ed edited, uh, edited images inside of InDesign and the file should be saved in one folder for folder management. So what I usually do is if I want to import some graphics or PSD file or Illustrator file, I keep it all along one folder itself right from the beginning. So you can see that this says three sources are missing because we actually changed the main file. So it was on the root folder. So I selected all of the images and dragged it inside this folder itself. So I'm just going to press OK and this will open up the InDesign page as you can see. So you can see a question mark now. That means the links to the file are missing. That means this file will not be exported. So what you need to do is you need to relink the files and for that you need to go to the links panel right here and on the question mark simply double click and you can see that you can relink. So it is looking uh, for the file in the main folder itself. So what we did is that we know that we saved it inside the we kept it inside the images. So let me go inside that. And over here, you can see that this is the file it is actually looking. So it is locating for IMZ0002. So I'm just going to press IMZ0002. So that's the image file that I know. So I'm just going to press open and it will relink the file as you can see. And you can see that it actually says the directory for other linked files as well. So since all of the images were in the same folder, it relinked the file itself. How do you know it is a linked file? You know it because of this icon right here and which is the link. So if we were to click it, you can see that it will redirect to the links panel itself. So this is how you link images inside of uh, InDesign and this is how you can use the links panel to relink uh, the images inside of InDesign. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.